Hello folks, welcome back. Today I want to talk about an idea that you may have heard as you've been shopping for a clock or watch, and that is the idea of a clock or watch being overwound. I was recently at an antique store in the area and I actually saw a sign to this effect cautioning people to not wind watches too much, otherwise you cause that dreaded condition. What does that mean? What are people actually talking about with a watch or clock that's overwound? Let's take a look. Here is our Seth Thomas Eclipse. We did a video recently featuring this clock. This is a fairly common type called a kitchen clock or parlor clock, and it is spring wound. We have a spring over here, which is for the timekeeping of the clock, and we have a spring here, which is for the striking feature of the clock. Let's get the dial off and see how this works in more detail. Here we have a close-up of the time side spring of this clock. You can see these are coil springs. If I press on it, you can see that the leaves are movable. And when a clock is unwound, this spring stretches out. And when you wind it, it contracts. So let's go ahead and wind this clock up. As I'm winding it, you can see that the leaves of the spring are starting to come inward. Most clocks like this take about seven full turns, or what's easier usually to count is 14 half turns of the key. As I keep going, you can see this is contracted a little bit. There's still a couple, oops, a couple layers that are farther out that if I just kind of push on, I can get them to come in. And the clock is fully wound when I can't wind it anymore. And so the question here is, where is the point of being overwound? Is that even possible? And the short answer to that question is not really. Unless I use an extreme amount of force, this stops when it's done. I've reached a point where I just I can't wind it anymore, and this is what the spring looks like. It is tightly wrapped on the inside, and there's a fairly solid stopping point. And this is it. This is a fully wound spring. This is absolutely normal behavior on a clock like this. Typically, that's uh, you'd wind it every week until it's tight. On a pocket watch, you would wind it every day, the same thing till it's tight. You use a reasonable amount of force. You don't have to use a power tool or a crank on it. But you'll know when the clock is fully wound. And when the clock is fully wound, that was as the manufacturer intended. So being fully wound but not running is an indication of something else being wrong with the, the clock or watch, usually meaning that it needs service. This clock is actually pretty dirty. You can see slime all over the place. It does happen to run. American clocks like this are known to have been overpowered, sort of like putting a V8 engine in a very small car. And that means that there's a very long range of time between when a clock probably should have been serviced and when it actually stops running. But we can see here that being fully wound, unless we use an extreme amount of force, isn't any big deal in a clock. Now let's go take a look at a watch that I think illustrates this in a different way. Here we have a Hamilton pocket watch. This is a 974. It's a nice watch, 17 joules, it's lever set. And this one is fully wound. I can't wind it anymore, it's hitting the hard stop. But if you notice, it's not running. What does this mean? A lot of sellers would label this as an overwound watch and they would blame the last person who wound the watch up too much as for the reason that it's not working. But that's actually not the case. Let's open this up and see if we can get a little bit more clue of what's going on. Here is our watch. You can see the nicely decorated plates. This is our mainspring barrel right there. We can see the click, which is what we're actually working against when we wind it. And if I put a little tension on this, you can see that mechanism wants to roll. Down here is the balance wheel. This is what's supposed to actually spin when the watch is running. And you can see if I shake the watch a little bit, it sort of kind of wants to go, but it doesn't stay running. So if this watch were overwound, the idea is then that the watch has too much power and then it won't run. But that's actually not what, not what happens with this watch. If I actually put a little extra power on by forcing the crown forward once I get it started here, I can actually make the watch run by putting extra pressure on it. Now, this is not a healthy state for this watch. Putting a larger spring in a watch is never the solution. What's needed is this watch needs to be serviced. And probably what happens here is our 
balance staff might be bent a little bit, which is why this stops so abruptly, but will run if I give it enough force to overturn, overcome this. So on a clock, we see that the intention is you wind it up all the way every week in the watch, the same kind of thing. There's a, a stopping point where you can't wind it anymore because the spring is tight. And if your clock or watch isn't running, that's because it's in need of service. So just wanted to answer this question. Next time you see a clock or watch that's labeled overwound, you know that's just another fancy word for broken. Thanks for watching.